In this video, I'm gonna answer the question, can you clone an object in Salesforce? My name is Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce trainer with Rotem. The short answer is you can't clone it directly. There's no button to clone an object. But what you can do is use the feature to create a new object from a spreadsheet to really speed up the process. So let me show you that feature and show you a couple tricks. To even consider cloning an object, the first thing I would do is come into the setup menu here, go to object manager, and we'll take a look at an object. So let's say account, for example. You'll notice here on the account details section, there's no space for us to clone an account within the user interface. But if we come back to the object manager and you click create in the upper right hand corner, you can certainly create a custom object and manually create all the fields, or you can create a custom object from a spreadsheet. What Salesforce is looking for here is actually rows of data where the columns are gonna be the different fields that you wanna create and the rows are gonna be the different records. So for example, if you have a spreadsheet of companies uh, and the first column are the company names, the second column might be their business phone number, the third column is their billing address, so on and forth, so forth, you can use that spreadsheet to create an object within Salesforce. And if you wanna clone an object that already exists, you can get a nice head start by running a report. So run that report out of Salesforce to create your spreadsheet, then come in here and go ahead and upload that spreadsheet into the wizard here. So let me show you how that would work. Let's say, for example, we essentially want to clone the account object. First thing to do is run a report. I'm gonna create a simple accounts report. And we already have a few columns here, which are fine for this purpose. There's a couple things that I would remove, which would be any you know, system fields. So last activity gets updated automatically, last modified date gets updated automatically. Gonna remove that. So instead what we've got is account owner, account name, billing state, type, rating. We can now run this report and then export it as an Excel file or a CSV. I just exported it as an Excel file now back in the object creator, we can take that Excel file that we just downloaded from a report, drag it in here, and we can let this wizard do some of the work for us. Essentially what's happening is the columns across the top of our spreadsheet from our report are gonna be converted into fields in this new object. And you can see them broken out here on the left. You click a little X next to one that you don't want. So for example, I don't actually want account owner to be created because record owner is a default field within Salesforce. Salesforce is already gonna create that field when we create the object. So I'm gonna remove that. The other thing to note is you can change the name of this new to be created Salesforce field name, and you can also change the data type. Right now, it's just assuming that these should all be text, but you can make type or rating into pick lists like they should be. And then you can also select whether or not this field should be added to the page layout for this newly created object. And at the top, you can choose to import the data or to not import the data. Those are all the rows of data that we had in the spreadsheet. This is the closest thing you're gonna get to cloning an object within Salesforce in the user interface. If you're using the metadata API and you're comfortable with that, then that gives you some other avenues to quickly create a custom object. But most of the time, I'll just do it manually because even creating it through this wizard leaves off a lot of details that I like to have access to, like default field values, as an example. So once you're happy with this, click next, and then the system will create that custom object for you. Hopefully that'll save you a little bit of time. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.